Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video we are going to analyze gold market. We are going to use Elliot Wave analysis to look at gold market. Now if you have been uh, wondering what's happening in gold market, there's so much volatility, then don't worry about it. We are going to look at it exactly and we'll see how um, what patterns we can see and what we see for the future for the next week. If you have seen my previous video, then I have been discussing that we have seen a completion of a, a five wave structure on a monthly chart already back here in 2011. And after a five wave completion, it always gets followed by a three wave structure, which is wave A right over here, wave B right over here, and then wave C right over here. So if you look at a weekly chart, I'm expecting the prices to fall below further down in this area. It may go further down, but it's too early to say. So as this is the larger, uh, the larger uh, uh, trend that we are expecting the in 2021, we are bearish in gold market. Let's have a look in daily charts to see if we uh, can see some more patterns. So I'm considering this whole drop from the top as wave one, wave two, wave one again of a smaller degree, and that this is the flat correction wave A, wave B, and wave two of a smaller degree. So. On a four hourly chart, we have been discussing that we have seen a five wave structure starting from the top to bottom right over here. And in my last video, I was saying that we might have wave A, wave B, and wave C. It looks like that our smaller degree time frame analysis, which I actually said that please beware to use a stop loss right over here instead of right over here, because it's very ext it's extremely difficult to analyze the uh, live going pattern in a smaller time frame. So we're expecting that it is actually not the case. This is not A, B, C. In fact, the five wave structure is like wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and wave four right over here, some sort of a triangle, and then right over here. Or you can also consider it as an ending diagonal, wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave, uh, sorry, wave three, wave four, and then wave five. It, this can also be considered like that. If we consider this as a at the end of wave four, in summary, I'm considering that our 5 wave structure is complete right over here and this gives us an idea that this is only wave A of the correction and right now we are going through the wave B of the correction. Within wave B of the correction, if you look at an hourly time frame, we can see that there is a, this is a wave A of a smaller degree, this is wave B of a smaller degree and then we are going to see a larger price movement downward. <coughs> this is uh, one of uh, traditional Elliott wave uh, patterns and this called uh, a flat pattern in which we have some sort of this pattern as wave A and this as wave B and we have a larger leg downwards and wave C. I'm expecting this kind of behavior from gold right now. So we have completed this, we have completed this and I believe we have in the early stages of this price drop right over here. We'll uh, look more on a 15 minute chart see if we can uh, fine-tune uh, more um, price movements. So this is wave A, a zigzag pattern. Wave A, three wave structure. This is another three wave structure and then this is a sort of uh, expanded ending diagonal. So this is wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. So I believe that this structure that actually started right from here is complete or if you can consider that wave C is complete. I believe that we are heading down right now. If you look at the, the price movement on a even, if we can enlarge the price movement right over here. So if we can look at the price movement right over here, we can clearly see a zigzag kind of pattern right over here. So we have A, B and a five wave structure C. So I'm expecting that this is probably going to be a, a, a sort of a expanding diagonal, expand diagonal, it could be ending diagonal. So this is what I'm expecting right now. This is A, B, and C. We will get a correction, a deeper correction. Price will come down as wave three, and then we will have a deeper correction, and then we'll fire a final five wave structure. As far as the down, as far as the trend itself is concerned, for the next week it looks like it's going to be bearish. But I'm expecting we will see some sort of exactly like this. Be really careful to be using very small, timely details. These are 15-minute charts. Too uh, complicated to to uh, say exactly. But as far as the price movement is concerned, I'm expecting the price movement going downward. 
so we might see shallow or deeper both possibilities are there we might see a shallow or a deeper price movement in wave 4 be really careful in that regard please so we'll for now we will use this okay a medium one and then we'll have a five f uh, fifth wave here right over here once that is complete we'll be really careful uh, this uh, target this support is a major support it looks like that and price may quickly go through it and then bounce back or maybe really uh, may fall short of the target so we can use both uh, things in mind so it can be actually short of the target and then bounce back right over here or it can actually go a little faster and then bounce back over here please to be really careful with that as far as uh, as far as uh, silver is concerned I'm making a separate uh, video analysis for silver it's called as a silver to two hundred dollar per ounce so if you want to if you are interested in silver you can get back to uh, a separate video for silver I'll be uh, I'll be uh, posting that after gold video once again we'll summarize it so I'm expecting that this is uh, I'm expecting that we have completed wave B of a larger flat right over here and then we are in the early part of wave C which will take us back to right over here prices right over here somewhere around one thousand dollar an ounce <laughs> or it can go further down within that larger structure we have completed wave one wave two a smaller degree wave one and a smaller degree wave two which is a flat correction we have even seen a even smaller degree of wave one mm, a five wave structure and we believe that it ended right over here the mess that right over or uh, uh, right over here it is not the start of an impulse structure it is taking too long for it to build because if you look at over here we have two smaller sub wave two did not take as much time so that's what convincing me that we have not completed the correction right over here this is therefore the continuation of uh, the correction so this is wave a this is going to be wave b and then wave c <coughs> within wave b we have completed wave a of a smaller degree wave b which is a flat correction is we have also completed that and we are in the early stages of wave C price movement we are going to see the volatility that we have seen in last week as well continue on we will see sharper price, price movement right we seen price went up sharply came down went up sharply sharply came down went up sharply came down sharply so I believe that we will start seeing we will keep on seeing this behavior a strong and sharper price movements are expected uh, to happen in gold market in next week Thank you for viewing my channel. If you have um, any comments, they are either uh, analytical or uh, any critical mm, comments, please post them on. It helps us, all of us as a community, to think together. And uh, thank you so much. Please spread the word by subscribing. And please do not forget to push that thumbs up. It helps the YouTube rec to recognize the video and present it to like-minded people. Thank you so much. Have a good one and bye-bye.